Booster 4 returns to the orbital launch pad, SpaceX kicks things up a notch with Crew Starship, changes are happening with Starlink, and Inspiration4 prepares for liftoff. I'm Kevin, and this is a short episode of SpaceX in the News. After about a month spent in the confines of the high bay, Starship's fourth booster left to return to the orbital launch site on Tuesday, with Raptor engines installed. The following day, she was lifted onto the launch table to prepare for future ground tests, hopefully for a static fire next week, declared the Musk man. Eventually, the booster will help take Starship 20 to orbit, or near orbit, for the first time in SpaceX history. 20 is still hanging out on test stand B, but began receiving its own Raptor engines back this week, including at least one Raptor vac that migrated its way over there early this morning. And work on the heat shield tiles also continue, but they're getting close to completion. A quick disconnect arm extension claw for the launch tower is being built that will help support a fully stacked Starship Super Heavy rocket on the pad, and construction of the wide base foundation is well underway. Meanwhile, work progresses on future vehicles 21 and 5. Common domes are now sleeved. Although the FAA hasn't given their blessing for future flights yet, Elon isn't slowing things down. He plans on having two orbital launch pads built with Starships on standby by the end of next year. SpaceX has even begun hiring engineers for the crewed version of Starship, both mechanical and life support systems. I believe the last time we heard anything that had to do with crew Starship was over a year ago when Elon asked Tesla employees to also work on the interior designs of Starship. New SpaceX filings have revealed that Elon's control over SpaceX has slightly dwindled since last year, most likely due to huge private fundraising the company has been successful at achieving. He now owns 43.61% of SpaceX's outstanding stock and retains voting control of 77.97% of the outstanding stock, down from last year when he had 47.4% and 78.3% respectively. In other news, fairing recovery ship Bob has made its way out of Louisiana and stopped in Tampa Bay for preparations and repairs on its way to Port Canaveral. Also, SpaceX is set to increase their production rate of Starlink user terminals by making feature changes that address supply chain issues as well as lower production costs. They sell their terminals for $500 a pop, but are losing money because they cost thousands to make. Currently, they produce about 5,000 a week, but will increase to multiples of that in the next few months, which is good news since some customers have waited the better part of a year for their dish to arrive. We're still waiting on an exact date for this month's West Coast Starlink mission, but we do have one for the next Falcon Heavy launch. The United States Space Force 44 has been booked for October 9th, according to this slide presented by Colonel Malone, during the Small Payload Rideshare Symposium this week. But the next SpaceX mission is Inspiration4, the world's first dedicated private passenger trip to Earth orbit. The crew will lift off from Pad 39A next Wednesday, and I'll be here live for those of you in need of a viewing buddy. Buddy! In the meantime, you can catch the first few episodes of their Netflix series, Countdown, Inspiration4 Mission to Space, available now. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. Shout out to those of you supporting the show through YouTube's Join feature and Patreon. Have a nominal weekend, and until next time, Godspeed.